fish is about the only wild meat left. It is a good source of iron, iodine, potassium, vitamin B6, which is necessary for your health. Now, the facilities on the North Coast and the, at the depots, at the fishing depots, the fishing landing sites, they are in the landing sites are in a, really, a, a derelict state. The, and it affects fishing. If you don't have proper facilities, it turns away a lot of people who come to buy fish when they see the condition of the, 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 the depots. Um, so it, it, it affects our income. My issue is here in, uh, in this Martlet Fishing Centre is that the toilet facility is no good, absolutely no good. It's no good, no good, no good. Sometimes strangers come here, they want to use it. Well, I don't use it at all. I don't. So we, I, I, we doesn't allow strangers, to, when they ask, where is um, the, the public convenient, or where could we use all your washroom? I shame to say, darling, we have none, especially for women. We have none at all. I can't tell them there. You could send somebody as you, all right, you come here, and you want to use this. You, you, from the time you watch that everything cut, your key, your stool, your whatsoever. So we have nothing, lady. Some of the fishermen that use the rock, all on the rocks. Yeah? You are proper sink here, no way for cleaning fish. What's the place where it's supposed to be for people to clean fish here? Look at it. Watch out here. We are serious in down here. That's supposed to be here with pipes and things with water running for the people and them to come and clean fish. Nobody doing sell clean fish here, they buy the fish and go with it because it has no facility for cleaning fish. I find the people in authority and showing no respect for the fish. Especially these fishermen at Kumana and Kumana Depot. Because I walk up the coast and I see in fishing depot. We have Less boat than us, but even as half the amount of boat that we have on this beach. And they come and they do all kind of refurbishment to leave their boats. What about me? Last year, sometime in August, they said, all right, we will come back in, 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 in November and something will start. They come in November, they say they're coming back in January. When they come back in January, they come with some Subira, they, 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 they draw some line. They, 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 they map out some place and they say, all right, we'll see all this soon. This, this thing is going to that bound to start. Now everybody was glad. Now watch on the building. Watch. A microphone in this room. Watch this room. Watch this room. It has total disrespect. You have to remember, you have to remember that we, as the fishermen, we just provide food for the nation. We just feed the nation. Check it out, without a doubt. How many, how many months we have to carry on living like this down here, special men? We live in that we it down here, what we shed, what we what, what we feel is the spirit, it's not nice. And then them fellas were talking about the light. When men are coming here in the night and we do our proper lights, it will be a problem. It's how small here is, as I say again, the amount of boats to cross over a rope, you're not seeing. If thief come to thief, you can't even see if the thief is right in the basin and you do our proper light and you write and you land here. The, we need lights to reflect how they ride through. The, the lights shine for a while and then they don't maintain it then. So we need that too. For it to maintain the lights so we can see what we're doing here in the night because there are plenty of night activities going on here. Most of the fishing here is coming in in the night. So they just need to see what they're doing. Here is about eight feet when the sun gone. When we had a pull up boat day, it's dangerous to the people that pulling up the boat or pushing it down. Boat going down there already and get away from man and run down, the engine get damaged, jump down there. Because you can not hold it back and it's going out to in the sea all day one time. Because you watch the size of them boat and watch the amount of people that have come there to get that boat up. And you had to pull up sometimes 10 boats for the morning. Boat come out of man and you're right here in rough sea and mash up and they just have to watch it mash up and can't do nothing. That time of the year come around. Well the light in here are no light, in this shed there are no light, it's only down there are light. And just recently run down there so that's why it's a light. They don't maintain it. They don't come back to check it, they just run it and they go. They know it's evil last year. 
You had to come and check if every three months you see clean wires or whatever they had to do, they do do that. No light up here. The lights, we are here to the, to the back of the building. There's no lights. To the front of the building, the same thing. So when it's night, this place is total darkness. This is our gas station. Many promises has been made to upgrade our standard of our gas station right now for Sherman that be suffering up here because no you have no, no gas. gas. No gas. And you have no to pay gas. extra money for gas. We fill up a little with promises. We still have this is an ancient gas pump and that you're using current and you have to pump it with your hand and like the treating we in cave days still in the back here. And we need something to be done because fishermen live daily in the sea and it's every day you have to pay extra money just to get a pan of gas. Vendors come in and pay two dollars a pound for fish and go to the market and sell for twenty five dollars a pound, twenty a pound. You understand? Because they bring in ice and gas. So we they take people what, what they want. You know? Yeah, get away from that. If you have a gas and the ice, you understand? Because we're going to probably go live good, the train go to keep. Go to school and you know me and get them what they want. Pigeon, pigeon, you know, they eat it all, you know, they like, like hard work. We don't have a caretaker. We need somebody that in privilege to organize the fishing center because I is only the cleaner. And the privilege that I have is only to clean. When I talk to the fishermen, I have no privilege. They throw rubbish here, they throw rubbish there. And I could only say, don't do it. I is only the cleaner, not the caretaker. We need somebody that who have control to organize the fishermen that could say, don't do this and don't do that. Um, security is a problem. We, you know, boats, engines are being stolen. This property is unsecure. It is exposed to the public. On a daily basis, we have problems, especially in a long weekend and holidays. What's happening is that to access the fishing center, it is a problem with beach goers and tourists. They also vandalize the facility. The use of the compound is not is, is for everybody, and not only the fisher folks. Lost my engine. Twenty second uh, last month. The engine cost thirty five thousand. And the boat is in the back there, I don't know, you can go and see it. Yeah, well, this is the boat. Well, I the engine. I have less and flow. Now that we scrape a little boat and then they make a little hustle. Right now I have about four thousand dollars to get my trailer and box. And it's well pressure. Diwali, Diwali day, the people to engine, mash up my whole livelihood. I owe in the bank, I had to pay back the bank for three engines. Net, they take my net, cut my net. All these are called police. Police they even, they even at, um, talk to me, they even come home with me. They even come and check boat, nothing. Nothing, I get no help, nothing from, no, nothing from nobody. And you all have about to go, it's the same thing. Right now, I in real trouble. We are seeking some assistance in some way or the other in having this compound, in getting this compound fence and having some signs put up and controlling the parking situation in this compound. Because on weekends, thoroughly, we cannot access. On holidays, worse. Fishermen have to turn back and go back home if you don't come here for like half five, six in the morning. And if you do come around that time, you have to wait until 8, 9 o'clock in the night to leave the compound. That's when the traffic will ease up. So the entire roadway is be thoroughly blocked. Well, I think these things could, could be improved with proper lighting. If we have more lighting on the, on, on the compound, you know, if we have proper secure rooms that we can secure our equipment properly, but these doors is wooden doors, they're easy to access, you know, and um, things like these, you know, proper fencing, proper, you know, like, like, like security around the, well, not around the clock, but mainly at night, that kind of thing. And, and, and I think this should be a great improvement for the community.
creating a you know like a car park for, for the visitors because this is a very serious problem. Right? It, it hinders the fishing community from the livelihood. They cannot access to and forth as you like. Well, definitely, we also need a new building on Kumana here because, I mean, storage and stuff would, is a challenge on the beach here for a lot of fishermen. Like myself, I have a, a pickup that I could throw my stuff on and carry it home. But there are other fishermen who can't do can't do that and if they have to it would cost them extra money and they need to to listen and have consultations with fishermen before they de decide to design any infrastructure and say well this is what we have what you think about it it shouldn't be like that it should be what you think should be designed and that is what we're looking for in in this in this instance because from from port to port needs will vary things will not always be that we want a jetty there might be some that already have a jetty so everybody will have different needs from port to port and we need to realize as well that that we have things to do in order to get the, the sort of development that we need in this community so fishermen need to come together and organize themselves in, in, in corporations, cooperatives or associations in order to be able to, to make certain claims and demands and, and, and for it to be heard properly. So, and once we have these, this organization put together, we'll be able to lobby on behalf of fishermen and the develop the, um, the way that the fishing industry should be developed and these facilities should be designed for our development for, our, for us to be able to move forward in development no one would listen to us unless we form a strong group we need to work together and negotiate on financial packages for fishermen training courses and management plan for our facilities and this will make us more effective